G'day, g'day guys, and welcome to another video. This one is about tools that are, it's continued. So the first one was more the essential tools. These tools, these are my ride or dies, but you don't need these to scrapbook, but they definitely make life a lot easier. Now, I'll start off, I'll just go from left to right. How about that? So I, Whenever I'm doing something that is required, re like for instance, making rosettes, okay, um, something like that, and I need to score something, this is the tool that comes with the We Are Memory Keepers um, scoreboard. It is excellent. It is fantastic. You do wear the tip down, but that's okay. I've done a lot of scoring with it. This little puppy here, there's a reason why I bought this. And that is because when you are, when you, when you do something on black cardstock, for instance, you're scoring, right? Not only does it leave a line, but it leaves it glossy. That's probably not the easiest thing for you to see. Can you see there? It leaves it like that. But when you use a Teflon bone folder, it leaves nothing. You might think because of... okay that was a bit ridiculous but see the line difference on black so that's why I have a Teflon bone folder as well as the plastic one so this one is good to get in the grooves but this one is good when you're scoring um, not so much scoring but when you want to make something a good so you folded it and it looks neat like that but then when you want to um, really make sure that crease is good if you use the Teflon bone folder you don't get any residue left behind you don't get that shiny look whereas if you use this one turn it over so it's more you get a bit of a um because it's plastic this is teflon and this is plastic so that's the difference you get it's kind of hard under i'm actually having trouble Can you see that one I'm having trouble under these lights maybe it's my eyes maybe i've done too many too many videos today okay the next thing i want to talk about is tweezers tweezers are super important to me purely because of my dexterity in my fingers these days so I use these puppies like there's no tomorrow I use these ones if these are reverse tweezers I use these if I am using embossing powder so I don't have to continue to squeeze the whole time and they're fantastic for that and the embossing powder just comes off the tips not a problem at all now these ones you're gonna have a laugh in a minute as to why I have yellow on all these things um, these ones are straight obviously that it is what it is you can and these ones are bent ones now I use these ones probably more so than I use these ones these are really good when you're putting down lettering stickers and you want to stay out of the way so you can sort of see what you're doing more whereas these ones you sort of you kind of in there if that makes sense so I use either or and it's just preference and sometimes it comes down to the day now quick tip when you get glue all over your bits and pieces you know your your tweezers and all the rest of it they don't join up properly and whatnot and you'll probably notice the ends of mine are looking very shiny for some reason pull out an old emery board and just go like that and bingo it literally just rolls all the glue and tape gunk the lot just takes it off be warned that you've just sharpened what is already a really sharp point but it keeps your tweezers coming together beautifully and you can pick up everything and it's brilliant so there's a tip for you use an emery board so chuck that in your toolkit while you're going. Now, the other things that I love, we've already talked about my scissors, but 
they just had to be here and they had to be here for this particular reason another top tip you've got your scissors you've spent good heart like especially if you buy these ones they're, they're not cheap but they are amazing um and you get gunk on them and you think oh how am i going to get this off and you're going to sit there and you're going to try to do this but then you cut yourself get yourself one of these these are sticky removers i've had this one i kid you not i've had this one now for 20 years 20 years stick master was the brand and i it is still going just go like that on your scissors i kid you not it rolls all the glue off and i use the hardcore glue and it rolls it off beautifully then they cut again like precision so not only does this remove stickiness off your layout if you've put down some tape runner and it's sticky and you've tried to lift it off and you can't quite get it off this is what you use and it's amazing it keeps your layouts beautiful and then you get this like gunky funky sort of build up just grab it and give it a tug and it starts fresh again and they go forever they really do go forever next thing that i have on my list of not essential but makes life pretty good this is an edge distressing tool now this one i don't even know the brand of this one basically it's got a blade in there in that little spot there and you wedge your paper in and you distress the edge of it just like that now top tip when you're edge distressing right if you are using your edge distressing tool and you're sort of going like this you're going to gouge into the edge of your paper right if you hold your paper cardstock whatever it may be if it's paper trust me go gentle because you will tear it really easily if it's cardstock you can be a little rougher hold it to 90 degrees so hold it literally 90 degrees to the paper and pull it towards you just gently just like that 90 degrees that's all you have to do and look at the tatty distress you get from that and you haven't done this to your paper i've done this a million times trust me it took me forever to work out why is it happening because no one taught me no one taught me that if you just hold it perfectly 90 degrees to the cardstock, it distresses it perfect. Seriously? No one told no one tells you this stuff. Okay. Next, we have a pokey tool. I love my pokey tool. It is what I use when I use brads, if I'm doing some stitching into my layout or whatever. It came in the uh creative uh cr car, what's it called um one second i can tell you making memories it came in this and i bought this so long ago and it's tin it's a tin sorry that was really loud no doubt so it came in here and it came out of there and it came with pliers and hammer and all that sort of stuff and your setting tool this thing is a game changer it is so good if you don't have one get your hands on one you probably won't get it in a tin like that for 50 bucks anymore but you know hunt around they're around there you can pick them up also while you're out there hunting and gathering grab yourself a craft knife these things save so many things but when you get the craft knife make sure you get the self-healing mat as well because you will destroy your surfaces if you have a nice expensive table i do not have a nice expensive table but to be honest i probably use the grid on here more than i use the self-healing properties of it um years and years and years ago when i was using only creative memory stuff i only ever cut on my self-healing mat it was amazing and i didn't even realize what the technology was at the time but that is another essential tool you need to get one of those to protect your surfaces i scrapbook on a bunnings plastic table with fake wood look contact on top so just before you think that everything's all shiny glitzy and glammy on this side of the camera 
it's just smoke and mirrors baby okay then we have some other tools if you are like me and you like bling on your layouts grab yourself a wax a wax tool you can either have a wax tip on it like this i personally found this one initially it was really good but once the tip sort of wore down a little bit i wasn't a fan of it but i did get this wax tipped pencil in it's a it's a pencil you can just sharpen it it's great and it's just wax and it picks up everything and places everything perfectly i love it and i've just bought myself a five pack of them for 99 cents so they're dirt cheap these ones are a little bit dearer they look really cool but uh, yeah okay um then the next thing i'm going to tell you is this particular tool is a creative memories tool i don't i'm just going to de-stick it while i'm talking to you um this is a creative memories multi-purpose tool this thing is the bomb.com i still to this day use this thing all the time and that is why i'm taking the sticky off it this is only my second one in 20 years and it is fantastic you can use it to put your stickers down you can use it to lift up if you've put some tape you've put your photo down and it's a bit crooked you stick it under slide it under and it pops it off it is brilliant if you know anyone that does creative memories buy yourself one buy yourself two trust me this is amazing and you can also use that end as a scoring tool if you can't find your score tool i've done that heaps times too then we have this particular trio these came with my cricut i did purchase the cricut and it is not part of the essential toolkit but boy oh boy it is amazing if you can afford one grab one if you can't scrapbook till your heart's content until you can afford one because you can do everything without one but it makes life so much easier i love this tool i use it all the time for scooping up my crap off the table you probably see me doing that all the time i use this to separate my tape when i've got tear tape down because i have no fingernails as you probably already know and this little guy i don't use anywhere near as much but he was part of the trio when he felt left out so i thought i'd include him i don't use this one nearly as much as i use this one this is what comes or used to come with the trio but i'm not sure and i know i bought that one separately and i'm glad i did because this one has a thinner edge on it to this one i know that sounds crazy like i thought they were the same but they're really not i think it's more not so much the point i think it's more the amount of do you, do you know what i'm trying to say i don't know what i'm trying to say yeah scoopage bit so there you go and of course i have a stamping block there because we all need stamping blocks they're a part of the essential kit thanks for watching guys i will be back with you real soon